Welcome back to my learning block. I am glad to see you're here. Today we are going to talk about quadrilaterals or identifying quadrilaterals, primarily a rhombus. Well, before we get there, let's talk about what quadrilaterals are, right? Because you're working with your child and they're coming home, we have quadrilaterals or whatever they, however they come home with. Um, quadrilaterals are polygons with four sides and four angles, all right? Some people forget the whole part about the angles. Don't forget, they have four angles and four sides, okay? So let's start moving in a little further. Now, rhombus, I like rhombuses. Um, it's great, they lead to different shapes such as kites, um, diamonds, and different things of that nature. But rhombus is one of the primary quadrilaterals that we need to be able to identify. So when you're working with your child and you want to speak correctly about um, the different types of quadrilaterals, here you go for rhombus. Now, a rhombus is defined as a parallelogram with four equal sides. Now, because it's a parallelogram, we know, again, because of the, paragra the parallelogram, such a difficult word, but I really like that word. Um, we know that it is one, a quadrilateral, right? In order for it to be a parallelogram, it has to be a quadrilateral, um, and that's already known. Also, what we know is it has two pairs of parallel sides. So when it comes time to talking about the rules, we know that it is one, a quadrilateral, and it has two pairs of parallel sides, making it a parallelogram. Now, we're gonna go a step further, and you remember we said that it has four equal sides. There's another quadrilateral that we're gonna talk about with four equal sides as well, and it'll come up in a moment. So what does it mean to be have equal sides? Well, it means that the sides or the four line segments on the polygon quadrilateral rhombus are the same exact length. So um, in that sense, you cannot have, let's say, a rectangle, for instance, and this is the best chance I got drawing a rectangle, because sides B are not equal to sides a, right? They, they're not equal. All four sides have to be equal and it has to be a parallelogram. Now, the only difference with a rhombus then, which brings us to our next one, then say a square, as you can see here, because a square is a rhombus. Yes, yes. If you ever saw a square and, and you're helping your child classify it, a square is classified as a rhombus because it has four equal sides. Now, as long as the quadrilateral is a parallelogram with four equal sides, it is a rhombus. Now, what's different about a rhombus in certain situations is a rhombus doesn't technically have to have right angles. Um, I'm gonna try to draw it as best as I can. Something such as that shape in a prettier way, obviously does not have, those two angles are obtuse, those two angles are acute, but if the sides are all equal, then it is considered to be a rhombus. So when you're working with your child, make sure you understand um, that that's pretty much what you're looking for with regards of a rhombus. You're looking for a parallelogram with four equal sides. And if you have that, then you pretty much have a rhombus by definition. Now, what are non-rhombuses or rhombi? Uh, find the plural. What are non, what is a non-rhombus? Well, this right here is not for the sense of these sides are not all the same. I guess I should do it this way, shouldn't I? All right, you have four different sides that are not the same. So take it away. This, ah, they are two pair of parallel sides, check, but it is not, again, the same here. You have a rectangle, four right angles. Go check that video out. Um, here, also the same, and here, also the same. They are not rhombus because they do not have two pairs of parallel sides and four equal sides. 
All right, thank you again for joining me on my learning block. I hope this helps with identifying quadrilaterals for you to help your child, and then we can keep going and moving forward. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.